Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be unboxing the Saks Fifth Avenue 25 Days of Beauty Advent Calendar. This is my first advent calendar of the holiday season. I am so excited. Last year, I believe I only picked up one, the most notable, the Chanel Advent Calendar, which went viral for all the wrong reasons. I still really like mine. I plan to take it down and incorporate it somehow in my holiday decorations when it comes time. But I do have my eyes on a few additional advent calendars. I may or may not pick them up. I just received an email about the Guerlain advent calendar, which is close to $700, I believe. Looks really enticing because of all of the incredible things inside. I also got an email about the Dior advent calendar, which I've never purchased in the past, but I know they do a really great job with their advent calendars. If you have any special recommendations, any advent calendars that you love that you'd like to see a review on, let me know down below in the comment section. As soon as I saw the Saks Fifth Avenue advent calendar, I knew I had to have it. For one thing, I was able to pick this up during their friends and family sale, so I believe it was maybe 15 percent off. Last time I checked my email they had some sort of other promotion going on so if I can find any sort of promo code I will list that down below in the description box but the reason why I love the look of this calendar is that the brands inside are really high quality like the most luxurious beauty brands available at Saks. So this is what it looks like. It has a beautiful design on the front it looks like the Saks Fifth Avenue flagship store in New York City all decorated for the holidays and then when you turn it around on the back it has a list of all of the products inside and then it ties together with a cute little bow so I think the size of the box the weight of the box everything looks really nice very high quality I would be very impressed if I received this as a gift I believe the calendar retails for $200, somewhere around $200, but on the back it says it has a value of $548. When you open it up, you can see all of the drawers inside. It goes from one to 25. I wanted to film the unboxing portion as a POV style. That way you can really see all of the products and all of the little drawers close up. So I'm starting here with drawer number one. This would be your December 1st gift to unbox. And inside we have Aromatherapy Associates Deep Relax Sleep Mist. I remember learning about this brand when I worked at Nordstrom. It's a really incredible brand. Their aromatherapy smells incredible and I love this deep relax. You can even find a lot of their products in different luxury hotels. Now this box was sealed so I know this is the correct amount. It looks like some of the juice is missing, but this is still a really great size of the sleep mist. And I know this is going to help me relax during the stressful holiday season. It has vetiver, chamomile, sandalwood. I love the brand and I'm so glad they were included in the advent calendar this year. I think this is a really great place to start. Drawer number two is over here in the corner. You couldn't see it because it was on the edge. This is another tall one. Inside is the Cell Cosmet Switzerland Radiance Revealing Harmonizing Mask with Precious Earth and Edelweiss Extract. I think this is one of the few brands, if not the only brand, I didn't recognize. I know Switzerland is known for luxury skincare and I always love trying new masks, so this sounds really interesting to me. And again, I think it's just a nice little self-care spa at home moment during the holidays when everything is really rushed and stressful. This is the Thermal Cleansing Balm from Amora Visca. Okay, so this is another brand that I don't recognize, although the logo looks familiar. I've never tried any of their products. It looks like they're from Budapest, but I love a cleansing balm, so this sounds like the type of product that I would love. And I like that you get all of these little trial sizes. They're not just little rinky-dink samples. They're pretty decent, so you can use them a handful of times. Drawer four is right here in the middle. It's a big one. This is from Sulwasu. It's the Advanced First Care Activating Serum. This is a really popular product. And usually when brands participate in advent calendars, they'll include their top selling products. So you kind of get to try the best thing from every brand. I really like this brand. I especially love their cleansing oil it is incredible. It's really silky and removes makeup right away. I have tried the serum. I've also tried their moisturizer and it's really good. 
on December 5th, you can unbox drawer number five. This is going to be a favorite for some of my fragrance lovers. It's a mini nest candle in Moroccan amber. This scent is amazing. It is perfect for the holidays. It's a little spicy. It's very warm and cozy. One of the prettiest candles from Nest. This candle smells so good, I'm already tempted to buy a larger size. In drawer six is another candle. This is a mini Delina candle from Parfum de Marly. Just look how cute. This is another candle that smells amazing. I didn't even know they made little baby candles like this. I have one of the larger Delina candles. We keep it in the living room area. Every once in a while, I will light it and it smells so nice. Personally, I love all of these brands and I love all of the items, but if there was anything in here that you didn't like, you could probably just throw it in a stocking and use it as a stocking stuffer. Day seven is another large drawer. Inside is the Relax Cowshed Calming Bath and Shower Gel. This is another brand that I'm not really familiar with, although it looks familiar. I've never tried any of their products, but I love the smell of this. It smells really nice, like lavender. Drawer number eight is up here at the top. I think this is the first piece of makeup we've unboxed. Inside is the Dior Show Iconic Overcurl Mascara in the shade black. I have received samples like this in the past that were free as a little gift with purchase, but I still think it's really convenient to have a mascara in there. It would have been boring if it was all bath and body, all skincare, so it's good to include some makeup. Inside drawer number nine, we have more makeup. This is a clutch size Tom Ford lipstick in the shade 03 Casablanca. This is one of the most popular lipstick shades from Tom Ford. And again, I think I've seen these little mini lipsticks as a gift with purchase, but you usually have to buy something anyways, and they don't always come in the best colors. Like I've seen bright red or sometimes a really light pink, but Casablanca is truly a beautiful lipstick shade from Tom Ford. In drawer 10, we have the Sunday Riley Good Jeans All-in-One Lactic Acid Treatment. I've never used this, but I know it's one of their top-selling products. It has really great reviews. Drawer 11 is another big one. And this has the Molten Brown Orange and Bergamot Bath and Shower Gel. This is the largest item in the advent calendar. It almost looks like a full size, something that you could purchase in store. It smells very fresh and clean, very energizing and invigorating, perfect for your morning shower. Going into drawer number 12 up here. Now this is one of my favorite skincare products. I recently finished my full size and I love it. This is the 111 Skin Y Theorem Repair Serum. It feels so nice on the skin. I swear I can notice a difference in the morning. I use this in the evenings and it just leaves your skin feeling so soft, supple, really hydrated. I'm very sad that I finished my full-size bottle, but at least I can use this sample until I figure out whether or not I'm going to replace it. In lucky number 13, there's a fragrance from Diptyque. I swear we have not opened a single disappointing drawer yet. This is the Eau Rose Eau de Toilette. It's a 10 ml bottle. And I love rose, I love this scent. It's a fresh, light, beautiful rose. Not really a great fall winter fragrance. I think this is more spring, summer, but it's so pretty. It's really nice for every day. It's very romantic, incredibly feminine, not too sweet. It's one of the prettiest rose fragrances. And Diptyque is just an incredible brand. This I have definitely not seen as a gift with purchase. In drawer number 14 is the Sicily Restructuring Nourishing Balm for hair. I have never tried any, any of the Sicily hair products and I have heard pretty good things about them so I'm interested to try this. It says apply to dry hair once a week. <laughs> Concentrating on damaged areas allow to penetrate well and leave in. Sicily is one of those brands that I just trust. I love their skincare. I love their makeup. I'm sure their hair care is amazing. They have great fragrances. So I'm really looking forward to trying that. In fact, I'm not going to wait. As soon as I'm done filming this video, I'll probably just put that in my bathroom. Drawer 15 has the Revive Intensite Complete 
anti-aging serum. Now this is a pretty small sample. It has 0.169 fluid ounces. It's 5 ml, but I imagine you could still get enough uses out of it to sort of at least see if it agrees with your skin. It's not like you're going to see results after a couple uses of this serum, but I do like Revive skincare. In drawer 16, we have more fragrance. This is from Gucci. It's the Gucci Flora Gorgeous Gardenia. Is it Barbie size? Yes, it's a Barbie size Gucci Flora Gorgeous Gardenia. This is so cute. I love these little mini bottles. They look like Barbie fragrances, so pretty. And this is a beautiful warm floral. I have the full size of the Gucci Flora Gorgeous Gardenia. This is the Eau de Parfum, not the Eau de Toilette. The Eau de Parfum is much nicer in my opinion. It's just very pretty, very sensual. Now this I think would be a really pretty fall winter fragrance. Now this is going to be a lot of people's favorite drawer. Definitely a standout. In drawer 17 we have Maison Francis Kurgian Baccarat Rouge 540. I still love Baccarat Rouge 540. I still think it's one of the best fragrances and it's perfect for fall winter. It would be beautiful for a holiday party and I love having the little travel size. So I think drawer number 17 is definitely one of the best. Where is drawer 18? Oh, 18 is right below 17. Here we have the Marvis Whitening Mint Toothpaste. I've never tried this, but it's so cute. It's very aesthetically pleasing, but I always run out of toothpaste and I never have it in my travel bag. So this is a very convenient drawer. In drawer number 19, we have a Dr. Barbara Sturm lip balm. This might be the teeny tiniest little sample in the entire advent calendar. It's a lip balm, so it's okay that it's pretty small. I think this would fit into a very small purse, which has its own convenience. Not the most impressive drawer, but I think it's still a really cute product. This is another favorite drawer. It's the Olaplex Number no. 3 Hair Perfector. This is really convenient because I generally will just travel with my full-size bottle of the number no. 3 if I know I'm going to be long gone long enough and I'm going to need to wash my hair. So this way, I can just take my little sample tube. Only five drawers left. Let's see what's in 21. Oh, this is another good one. In drawer number 21, we have some Augustinus Botter. It's the Rich Cream. I have tried some of the Augustinus Botter skincare. It's really nice. But let's see what this sample size is like. Okay, so the sample size is pretty small, but I still think you could get several uses out of this. And this is the Rich Cream texture. So it's going to be pretty thick and hydrating. I imagine you only need a pea size amount each time. I know it's a small skincare sample, but I can't help but think that Saks Fifth Avenue did such a great job curating the brands to include in their beauty advent calendar. They really pulled out all the stops. They went with best of the best beauty brands. This is truly a taste of all of the best things that you can buy. Now this is a brand I've never heard of, Fortuna Skin. This is the Daily Renewal Cream, so another moisturizer. Okay, so maybe I spoke a little too soon. I'm gonna have to look up the ingredients, but this moisturizer has completely separated and it kind of has a funny smell to it. I'm not too upset or disappointed. I've never heard of this brand. It wasn't like one of the reasons I bought the calendar to begin with, but this is gross. I wouldn't even wanna mix this up with my finger and use it anyway. I noticed that there was some weird liquid in there. Yeah, this is disgusting. This sample is going to be thrown away. We're down to the final three days. In drawer number 23, we have a little skincare sample from Clay de Po. This is the Protective Fortifying Cream. I love Clay de Po beauty products. I have tried their skincare in the past. This is a very small sample size. Even though it's small, it looks like it's basically filled to the top and it looks kind of rich. So I think you could still probably get 
a week or two use out of this, which is plenty. That's just enough time for you to really try the product, see if it's something that you love. On Christmas Eve, December 24th, we have a Charlotte Tilbury item. This is the Pillow Talk lipstick. Look how cute. I don't think I've ever seen these mini lipsticks from Charlotte Tilbury. It's such a beautiful shade. It looks like a little Barbie lipstick. This is a really cute gift. The size is small, but it's actually really convenient. This is great for touch-ups if you are carrying maybe a holiday bag or a really small clutch. It's not going to take up a ton of room in your purse, but you can still touch up your lipstick. So I think this is really convenient. Last but not least, on Christmas Day, number 25, we have a sample from Guerlain. This is the Advanced Youth Watery Oil, one of my favorite skincare products from Guerlain. I have the full size in my bathroom. I love this watery oil because it's very thin. You can layer it with your skincare, with your serums. You can even mix this into your foundation and it just feels very lightweight on the skin but incredibly hydrating and nourishing. I love Guerlain samples. I have received this before as a gift with purchase, but they are like gold to me. I always hoard all of my Guerlain samples. So this is the complete calendar. All of the contents inside, 25 little drawers, 25 treats, only one disappointment, which is really not bad. And it wasn't even a brand I'd ever heard of before. So it wasn't exactly a determining factor when I was deciding whether or not to purchase. Some of my favorite items, well, for one thing, I think the fragrance they chose, an outstanding selection. You have Diptyque, Gucci, Maison Francis Kurgian. I think that Baccarat sample is going to be really exciting. I also love the candles. I mean, the Parfum de Marly Delina candle and the Nest candle both smell amazing. They went with the highest quality skincare brands. Some really cute little makeup pieces in there as well. I know that I will use everything in this calendar except for the one sample which I'm pretty sure is expired but I want to hear from you guys let me know what you think what are your thoughts on this calendar do you like it do you wish they included different brands different products share your feedback down below and that completes today's video thank you so much for watching hopefully you enjoyed seeing this advent calendar unboxing if you liked it give it a thumbs up leave me your comments questions down below again if you have any other favorites recommendations suggested advent calendars that you would like to see me unbox this year drop them in the comment section we will keep the conversation going there as always i will be linking everything mentioned everything on my face will be listed down below in the description box for your convenience and for more videos like this don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell.